In this video, we look at calculations involving number of moles, mass and molar mass. In these equations here, we have N, which is amount in moles, M, which is mass in grams, and capital M, which is molar mass, and the unit is grams per mole. So let's look at our first equation. Number of moles is equal to mass divided by molar mass. The second equation is solving for mass. So mass equals number of moles multiplied by molar mass. And finally, solving for molar mass. Molar mass equals mass divided by number of moles. So let's try some examples. How many grams of hydrogen gas are produced when 2.43 grams of magnesium reacts with excess hydrochloric acid? So we are told that the hydrochloric acid is excess, so that means the limiting reactant is the magnesium. So here's the equation, magnesium plus hydrochloric acid forms magnesium chloride plus hydrogen. The first thing we need to do is calculate number of moles of magnesium. So we use N equals mass divided by molar mass. And that equals 2.43 grams. And the molar mass of magnesium is 24.31. And that equals 0 0.100 moles of magnesium. Next, we look at the ratio of magnesium to hydrogen gas. So according to the balanced equation, one mole of magnesium will form one mole of hydrogen gas. So it's a one to one ratio. So if we have 0 0.100 moles of magnesium, that means we'll produce 0 0.100 moles of hydrogen gas. So finally, we use the equation mass equals number of moles times molar mass. We've just calculated the number of moles of hydrogen in the previous question. So in this equation, we have 0 0.100, which is the number of moles of hydrogen, multiplied by the molar mass of hydrogen, which is 2.02, .02, because hydrogen is a diatomic gas, and that gives us 0 0.202 grams of hydrogen gas. So here's our next example. How many grams of sodium chloride are produced when 52.99 grams of sodium carbonate react with excess hydrochloric acid? Again, we're told that the hydrochloric acid is excess, so that means the sodium carbonate is the limiting reactant. So just like the previous example, we need to calculate number of moles, and that's equal to mass divided by molar mass. So the mass is 52.99, and the molar mass of sodium carbonate is 105.99, and that equals 0 0.5000 moles of sodium carbonate. So next we look at the ratio of sodium carbonate to sodium chloride. So it's a 1 to 2 ratio. So that means we multiply the 0 0.5000 by 2 to give us 1.000 moles of sodium chloride. And then we use the equation mass equals number of moles times molar mass. So the number of moles of sodium chloride is 1.000 and the molar mass of sodium chloride is 58.44. So that gives us a total of 58.44 grams of sodium chloride. So next example, how many grams of sodium hydroxide are produced when 9.20 grams of sodium react with excess water? So here's the equation, sodium plus water makes sodium hydroxide and hydrogen gas. So again, we use the formula N number of moles equals mass divided by molar mass. Our mass is 9.20, the molar mass for sodium is 22.99. So that means we have 0 0.400 moles of sodium. So next we look at the ratio of sodium to sodium hydroxide. From the balanced equation, it states that two moles of sodium forms two moles of sodium hydroxide. So it's a two to two or a one to one ratio. So therefore, if we have 0 0.400 moles of sodium, we will produce 0 0.400 moles of sodium hydroxide. And finally, we use the equation mass equals number of moles times molar mass. So the number of moles is 0 0.400 and the molar mass of sodium hydroxide is 40.00. So that means we'll produce 16.00 grams of sodium hydroxide. So here's our final example. How many grams of oxygen are formed when 735 grams of potassium chlorate KClO3 react? So the balanced equation is two moles of potassium chlorate 
decompose to form two moles of potassium chloride and three moles of oxygen gas. So we start by calculating the number of moles. So it's number of moles equals mass divided by molar mass. So the mass is 735 grams and the molar mass of potassium chlorate is 122.55. So that gives us 6.00 moles of potassium chlorate. So next we look at the ratio of potassium chlorate to oxygen and the balanced equation it's two moles of potassium chlorate will form three moles of oxygen. So it's a two to three ratio. So that means if we have six moles of potassium chlorate, we'll produce nine moles of oxygen gas. So finally, we use the equation mass equals number of moles times molar mass. The number of moles is nine, so it's 9.00. The molar mass of oxygen, oxygen is a diatomic gas, so the molar mass is 32.00. And that gives us a total of 288 grams of oxygen.